Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. Today we are making some knotted friendship bracelets. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Yes, we are looking at friendship bracelets today and we're not knitting, we are knotting. Yes, there are a few ways you can make friendship bracelets. If you've been with me a while, you'll know that there have, there's have there been a video where you can knit a friendship bracelet too. I'll link to that at the end of this video. But we can also knot them. So if this is your first time here, do subscribe. There's a little button below you can click on and you'll see all of my other videos relative to knitting. And maybe I'll do some more knotting ones as well. What we're going to make is these little striped ones. So there are two types of materials you can use today. The first one, which is the one that I primarily show you in the video that I filmed a couple of days ago, because obviously my bracelets are now finished. Um, you can use uh, wool. Now this is Aran weight, worsted weight yarn. And I found that just as with knitting, if you're knotting with yarn and it's slightly thicker, then it will grow more quickly. So that is a perfect tool if it's your first time, you don't want to get bored while you're making it. It's a perfect um, chance to just see it grow quickly and get used to the method that you're going to use, as I'll show you in the video. The other thing that I've used to make this little um, bracelet that's in the video is embroidery threads. And these are just cotton embroidery threads. You get them and they're quite long. These are, this one, the gray one here is eight meters. And it lasts a very long time, especially if you're doing embroidery and you actually split the thread up. So you're only using maybe a third of the thread to create your embroidery. So with the knotting, you would use a whole thread and you only need 65 centimeters of each length of each color that you want. So let's get to it. I'll show you how to make these friendship bracelets. And like I said, at the end, I'll show you the knitted bracelet as well. Okay, we're ready to start making the friendship bracelet. You can see here I have two different types of yarn. I have the silk embroidery threads here. They are, don't think they're silk, I think they're cotton. Um, they're 95 centimeters each and I've chosen six strands of different colors. Here I have the Aran worsted weight yarn. It's a nice smooth one, so it's not gonna get caught up as I make the knots. And that is 100 centimeters, but I've chosen three colors. So each of those three colors has two threads. At the top, I have left myself 15 centimeters and I've tied a knot. And that is where I put it in the clipboard. Now, as you get further and further down the bracelet, as I have done here, you can move this further up the clipboard like that and just make sure that you are secure enough as you keep knotting. So I'll show you from here how it works. I will show you with this thicker yarn, just so that you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> right, so I use what I call the thumb method. And that means that when you're making a friendship bracelet, you work in rows. So this is your working yarn, whichever one is on the left, you work across the row. So I pick up this yarn and it's the working yarn. So the next one is I have to knot this one by each one of these threads in turn, which means I need to pick up the second yarn. That's the most important one for this pair first couple of knots. So I use the working yarn and I wind it around my thumb. That really helps me settle in place the knot so I know where it is and I know where it's going. Pull that tight, make sure it's got a good stretch, a good tension to it. And then that yarn goes underneath that second thread here and I pull it through. I've made a knot, that's the first knot. I let my thumb go and I pull that up tight. And then I do the same thing again. Each time we do two knots in turn. So that has been now worked and I pick up the second the next thread in line. I work across this row two knots at a time. So the yarn goes around my thumb, it goes underneath that thread that I'm working with now, and I pull the knot tight. I do the same thing again, and I pull the knot tight. Don't let those others get caught up in it. 
I've finished with this thread, so I move it to the left. Pick up the next one, and I use my thumb. Uh, you can see I've clamped these others in my fingers down here, just so they don't get in the way. So my working yarn, I'm still using the same piece of yarn that goes around the thumb, underneath this thread here, and I pull that tight. Same again, around the thumb, underneath that, and pull it tight. Okay, so I can now let this one go, and I do exactly the same thing with these last two. I hold this one here, yarn goes around my thumb, underneath there, and I put it tight. I'm going to do these two quickly. One, oops, I've got it caught under the second one as well. There you go, that's that yarn work, put that one to the side, and now I just have one last thread. One, knot, two, knots. Okay, there you go. So that is one more stripe done. And my next job is to pick up the left, most left hand thread. That will be my next working yarn. And I move all the way across of these, one at a time. Two knots on each strand with this working yarn. Okay, so it's just like that. And you just go down and down and down and down all the way through until you have a friendship bracelet that as long as you want it to be. And then you can do what you like with it. You can, I would suggest that you plait the ends, be that in one single plait or in two plaits. You can add beads to the ends of these. You can do all sorts of things. Just make it hang loose so it's a tassel at the end and you just want it long enough to go around your wrist and long enough to tie. There you go, that's it. That is how to make a friendship bracelet. Now one thing I did want to let you know is if you want to use a clipboard, that's fine. If you don't have a clipboard, then you can use a piece of masking tape and attach it to a table, get a friend to hold it for you. You can obviously, if you're going to use masking tape, make sure that the table isn't extra special and the varnish isn't going to come off. Um, the other thing I used to do is use a safety pin and attach it to my, my jeans <laughs> or my pair of shorts. I'd sit there creating friendship bracelets with this attached to my jeans or indeed attached to a, a cushion, a pillow, just sat on my lap and I would um, pin that to my to my jeans, a pillow or a cushion and it would just sit there quite happily. And then, like I said with the clipboard, I just move the pin down the next bit as I did more knots and that would move it down a third time as I did more knots. So there are lots of ways you can do this, lots of different threads you can use, lots of different colours. Make each one individual so that they're extra special. Okay, I hope that was great for you. I hope you can now enjoy knotting your bracelets and yeah the ends basically I've plaited them together and just tied them. I've tied them so that they can fall off of my wrist but only when I choose to take them off. They're not so tight that I can't remove them and they're not so loose that they're just going to fall off. Look at that, that's just fine. That's not going to fall off at all. So you fasten them as you like, add beads to them Make them as fancy or as simple and plain as you choose. And mix them up, use lots of different colours for all of your friends and they will be very grateful. It's a great way to pass the time. I used to make a lot of these. And um, yeah, if you'd like me to make more videos showing you how to make them in different styles, with the stripes going different ways, different colour combinations, that kind of thing, I even made a tartan one, I can remember, that's a really cool way of knotting. Just let me know in the comments and I can certainly come up with more of these videos if you'd like. Great. Now, the friendship bracelet that you knit, I'll just show you the video up here and you can see that it's not too difficult. It's a great chance for you to practice your casting on and your casting off. Do go and have a look at that because you can do these alongside each other and it'll just mean you've got a bit of variety when you have your bracelets. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and do subscribe if you'd like to see more of these videos and obviously go and have a look around all the different playlists. There are lots of videos here already for you to look at. Okay, I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.
happy knitting and happy knotting.